Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anthony here with Ant's Drone, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to import your photos to Lightroom 2021 version 4.0. Now, if you're using an older version of Lightroom or even a newer version of Lightroom in the future from now, just know that it's probably the same exact process. Now, things do change, so if it does look a little bit different to you, definitely check out other videos on YouTube. I'm sure you'll find one that looks most compatible with the version that you're using, but for the most part, Lightroom is the same from year to year. There's just minor changes and new features that they add. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So obviously the easy way to do it is to add photos, which we are gonna do in a second, but I still have my photos on the SD card. What I like to do is import the photos to the computer in a separate file and then import them to Lightroom. I don't like to rely on Lightroom's cloud to store all my raw photos. I, I just feel like things can happen with that. So I'd rather have a copy of those photos versus just relying on Lightroom's cloud or the Adobe cloud. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to add photos here. And in there, we're going to go down to actually I put them on my 14 terabyte external. So we're going to go there. Then we're going to go into the folder and here you can see all of my dng files dng stands for raw when you're shooting with a dji drone so i'm going to take all these photos and just hit review for import what that'll do is it'll pull up this window and it's like a preview of all the photos and it, they look really bad right now they look really pixelated but once they're imported they won't look like that so just bear with me we're going to hit add 35 photos boom if we go up here to the left you can see them all coming in very quickly they're uploading and right here these little like circles they indicate how much of the photo has been uploaded to the cloud so if i wanted to go on my ipad and use adobe lightroom 2021 on my ipad once those are all filled in and you see a check mark i would be able to go to my ipad and edit the same exact photos but that is basically how you import to Adobe Lightroom 2021. It's very easy to do, and once you're imported, you can get started with your editing process. If this video taught you something new, definitely hit the subscribe button and notification bell as I make tutorials on a regular basis on all different topics, including photography and video production. And also, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it will help the video rank higher in the algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.